To draw a hand with the fingers bent like this looks quite difficult, but if we keep it simple um, and look at these things as simple shapes, simple cylinders, then it becomes much easier to draw. For example, if we're going to start, we're going to start with the basic shape of the hand first of all. So, and you'll notice we've got these little bumps and lumps coming out here. So we're just going to make a few little bumps around here. I'm going to just put the um, base of the thumb in. And again, that is this section just here, half and half again. So I just put that oval shape in. Now, as far as the fingers are concerned, we're looking at the curve that runs through here and through each of the knuckles. So the curve is going to be approximately here. So I'm just going to draw that curve coming round. Now, all I'm going to do is to draw the cylinders in. So we'll have one cylinder here. Okay, so we've got the basic cylinder there. We've got another one which is maybe slightly, if you can see, slightly overlapping here. So I've got those sections drawn first of all. So we've drawn the first part of these cylinders. Now, if we draw the first um, finger here, we'll do the other three digits. Now, because of the way we're looking at this, the middle digit here now, this middle section looks shorter than this one. So we get this foreshortening effect. It also gets slightly narrower. So we just make this look slightly narrower. And we do little curves in here. So it's more like that. Now this second cylinder here, we have, if you imagine a, a cylinder is going to be from the front. So we see in the cylinder almost like a circle shape on the top here. And then we see the front part of the finger. You see? So the front part of the finger comes down from about here. The second finger, um, curves from here and the cylinder comes down a little bit further to about here because we can see the top of this cylinder it comes in from here again curves on the top and then we have the cylinder comes down and then finally we have this finger here which again comes down the back here we've got our cylinder comes along the front So we've got that very, very simple shapes, as you can see here. Um, as far as the thumb is concerned, again, the thumb comes up to about here, the cylinder. So we just put the cylinder in about here and we have almost like the triangle shape. So at that stage, we've now drawn very, very simply, very simply the hand. Now, what we can see here is we can now start going over this. So we start with this finger here, just going to go over this a little bit stronger, a little bit of a knuckle here, curves down, and the knuckle comes up here, round. Same with this one, and finally this one too. So you can see we're beginning to develop the way these fingers are bending over. We'll just um, finish off the thumb, take a couple of lines in. Um, just to finish off with a couple of lines in here as well. So we have our basic hand there. If you want to add a little bit of shading, uh, just to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional, I'll just do this very, very um, simply here. But um, one of the interesting things to note about the shading is the fact that the shading, whenever you shade anything, the light area will always stand out against the dark area. So, for example, if I start doing this, You can see how the this finger now begins to stand out against the darker tones behind. And similarly underneath here. Now 
Now obviously you can spend a little more time with the shading, see if we can get some, rid of some of these darker lines here. And we create edges. Let's see if I can begin to put little darker tones in here. Look. And so on. Okay, I think we'll leave it there.